um, motion parameters. And we're going to get into um, uh, a little bit more about what this means. And this is probably going to be easier to see in your book. This is a little blurry up here. Um, you can uh, report and uh, assign positions, accelerations, tar uh, different kinds of targets in a lot of different ways. Um, you can have an absolute position. You can have a relative position. Uh, you can have velocity, um, acceleration, and deceleration together and separate. Um, you can take a look at following error as well as derivative following error. So you can look at actually the change in error. Uh, for example, if you want something to stop immediately on contact with something rather than hit it and then wait for it to get to its following error limit, um, we'll cover what exactly following error is later if, you don't, if you're not familiar with that concept. Um, but the motor has a lot of different ways to interpret its, its internal um, uh, uh, motion commands and how to assign them so, um, and be able to report those out to, you know, out to the serial chain or manipulate them in, in formulas. And that's just a really nice at a glance little uh, chart view um, to make, uh, make sense of things down the road. Um, motion itself is going to be covered a little bit later, um, but I just wanted to point that out to you right there under seven, uh, just to run through that and just see what that looks like. 